this for like practically forever, but Merry Christmas! <laughs> I'm Becky. And I am Becca. And welcome to our very Merry Christmas special. We are so excited to be we here. Are. <laughs> and we are so happy that you have joined us today. All month long, we are following a very special friend of ours who is searching for the one true king. Yes, and I really hope that this story ends with us going to a ball where we can dance and there's lots of desserts and so many good things to eat. And I hope they have a huge Christmas tree. And I hope that there's lots of delicious desserts there. And I really hope that there's really good dancing. And I hope that there's hot chocolate. And I hope that there's lots of desserts. And I hope that there's lots of Christmas lights everywhere and tons of amazing desserts. And I hope that there's- All right, all right, all right. All right, Becky. Okay. <laughs> we got it. You have lots of hope for desserts and fun. I but do. Becky, it's Christmas. And I think there's a lot more to hope than just some desserts and decorations. Okay. Although, I am enjoying what we're making here today in our Kidville workshop. I am too. It's an advent wreath. Yes, and Advent wreaths are really great. And I hope that we can add some chocolate maybe to our Advent wreath and then maybe eat it or use it as a decoration. <laughs> hey, Becky. Yeah. Guess what? It looks like we have a video. Oh, okay. This is from our very special friend. She is an elf named Joy. Oh. And she is going to share videos all about her search for the one true king. I can't wait to follow her journey all month long. I'm excited. Let's watch it together. Okay. Hello? Oh. Hello, everyone. My name is Joy. I am so glad that you are here. I am so tired because I have been walking around through the candy cane forest all day. I had to go through the candy cane forest because I am on a mission. I am looking for the one true king. I have heard about this king, but I haven't found him yet. So I decided to go looking and I think I may have found him. I found this book called the Bible. Oh, I have it with me here today found it in the place called the Old Testament in the first book of Samuel, which is in the first part of the Bible, where it talks about the first king. He must be it. Let's read it together. God's people did not have a king. God led them by his prophet Samuel, but the people said, give us a king to lead us. Samuel asked God about it. God said, give them a king, but tell them that they will be sorry they will have to obey their king. He might make them do things that they really don't want to do. Samuel told the people what God said, but still they wanted a king. So God chose a king for them. His name was Saul. He was a tall man, but he was very shy. When it came time to, for him to become king, Saul hid, but the people found him. They brought him out in front of everyone and they all shouted, long live the king. At first, Saul was a good king, but then he stopped obeying God. So God told Samuel he wanted a new king for his people. Wow, I guess Saul wasn't the true king after all. Well, I guess that means I will just have to keep looking. I will keep you guys posted. Be on the lookout for my next update. Talk soon. Well, God's people were hoping for a king, but they weren't happy with their leader Samuel getting old, and they saw other nations who had kings, so they wanted one too. Yes, but then it wasn't actually as great as they thought it was going to be, Becca. I know that I was talking a lot about treats and lights and hot chocolate and decorations that I'm excited for this month, and I am excited. I'm really excited. But our story today reminded me that no other king has hope. And I'm really glad that we can use one of my favorite decorations, the wreath, to remind us what's most important. I guess Joy will have to keep looking so we can find out who's supposed to wear this thing. <laughs> I can't wait to follow Joy's adventure to find the one true king who does have hope. And you're right, Becky. Advent wreaths are a great reminder of what the Christmas season is really about. For those of you who don't have one, you can make one. It's really yeah. fun and really simple. Yeah. And they can look a little different. You can use different types of materials to make one. Like this one has some greenery and mine has felt. And we can use it every week leading up to Christmas. Yeah, so the wreath that I have actually is made out of like fake greenery. And then I have some real candles that I put with it and a bow at the end. Yeah, but you can make yours with whatever you want or yeah. whatever you already have. I have seen Advent wreaths made of foam, mm -hmm. felt, recycled materials, wood, or yeah. you know what? If you're not that creative, 
you can just get a kit. But Becky, what is an Advent wreath? That's a super great question. So the word Advent actually comes from the Latin word that means coming or arrival. And the Advent season begins four Sundays before Christmas. It's a time when we get super excited about the coming of Jesus and we prepare to celebrate his birthday. The Advent wreath usually consists of like some evergreen branches or evergreen color. Um, it has three purple candles and one pink candle, and then we'll put a white candle in the center um, as we get closer. And the purple and the pink candles are usually kind of spread out around the wreath, and they all represent something different, but we'll talk about each one of those candles over the next few weeks. For our family, the Advent wreath is a great way to help us pause and remember the real meaning of Christmas. Yes. And it is so fun to light the candles all together and read from our Bibles. Yes, I love doing that. It's a really great time for our family just to stop and remember and to really get excited about the coming of Jesus. You know what? I challenge all of you at home. If you don't have an Advent wreath, make one with your family. If anyone in your family has any questions about what is an Advent wreath or where to find supplies, you can ask us. Yeah, my family and I have made lots of wreaths over the years and so much fun. And I have lots of ideas, but I love to see what other people come up with. Well, Becca, I think ours is done here. Are we ready to light our first candle? I am ready. Okay. All right, so the first candle symbolizes, that's a fancy way of saying stands for something, hope. Okay, I guess we're ready to light the candle and we'll see you back next week. What's up, y'all? It is the verse of the month. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Who is he, the king of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the king of glory. Psalms 2410. Do it again. Do it again. Who is he, this king of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the king of glory. Psalms 2410. Yo, let's do, do it again. again. Who is he, this king of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the king of glory. Psalms 2410. Yo, yeah. peace out, y'all. Word.